there's lots of stories, you know, that, that and how they ended up in, uh, first of all, Lake Superior from a train car breaking down and the guy just <laughs> dumping them to a hatchery <laughs> truck on his way to another place and his truck breaking down and just dumping him them in the river. And, you know, one of the more accurate stories was it was left over from a hatchery and it was they were being transported somewhere else and they had 20,000 leftovers and then they ended up stocking them into the current river which flows into uh, to Lake Superior. And so that's the most accurate information that we have on that. It seems like, yeah. So, but, you know, it, it wasn't an intentional, like, we're going to stock pink salmon into Lake Superior. Um, it was one of those leftovers, hey, we're, what are we going to do with these guys? Let's see if they make it, I guess. And they stocked them, and, you know, they they started to spread eventually. It was around the mid-1950s when they stocked them.